Why'd you buy it, Tobes? Because it makes me look good. Alright, well, that's, that's <laughs> the end of the review then, isn't yeah. it? Today, we're going to talk about the Klim Kodiak jacket, which uh, Toby is so magnificently... Yeah. What are you doing? I was just bending down to show them. So magnificently <laughs> displaying for us in like yeah. Blue Peter fashion. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Why'd you buy it, Tobes? Because it makes me look good. Alright, well, that's, that's <laughs> the end of the review then, isn't <laughs> yeah. it? Yeah. It's like, well, what else can we say? No, I bought it because I'd lost so much weight. The rucker was really good, but it was too big because I'd lost that weight and I wanted something that was going to be um, hard wearing, easy to wear, offer me really good protection, but then really good for a warm country because I spend most of the time in warm countries touring. Bragging now. Bragging. And, you you know, are bragging. It's great, isn't it? Um, and I found the rucker really good at everything other than keeping me cool. I had to have the whole of the rucker open to keep me cool. Um, so that's why I bought this. Klim was recommended by quite a few people to me. Um, and it's got loads of features. They've got Badlands that I looked at. The Badlands was good. Badlands goes down a little bit further down. I was just thinking it's quite, short, it's quite a short jacket, isn't it? Yeah, well, it's, it's, um, it's the road version. So the Badlands is the off-road version, hence it's got pockets on the back like the Rally 3 and the Rally jackets from BMW. Oh. It's got pockets everywhere, it's more um, adventure rider because the armour and stuff on the Badlands has got little ceramic bobbles and different stuff in it wow. that is meant to help protect you when you drop on rocks and stuff, okay. whereas the leather is meant, to, it's obviously got most of the same stuff underneath. But the leather and that sort of protection is meant to give you more protection on tarmac, which is where I spend most of my time, so it makes sense. What, on the tarmac? <laughs> <laughs> no, hopefully, hopefully not on tarmac. But give me most protection if I was um, unlucky enough to come off. It gives you more protection on tarmac rather than off-road. Cool, that's right. Where I spend most of my time. Well, let's but, talk about it visually then, well, shall we? Yeah, well, go hang on, on. you had something else to say then. I'll cut you off. No, go on, carry on. No, no, no. I was just well, I was, I was going to say that, and I also picked this one because it's a European, more European fit. The Badlands is very square and it goes down. The European hugs your body a little bit more, and I don't like sitting down and having all of this jacket fluff, you know, rubbing up and feeling like I've got so much jacket. I like to be. Not wearing leathers that are stuck to you, but I don't like feeling that when I move, my jacket stays in one place, and that's unfortunately when I was wearing my rucker, that's how I felt. So th this is a more European. It kind of cuts in and follows the contour of your body. Cool. Well, let's talk about it then. It's um, visually, it is quite a nice looking jacket. Loads of pockets on it though. It has zips loads. everywhere. Though. I know it's great. Is it, are they pockets or? Um... Yeah. yeah. Okay, so you've got two chest pockets. Yeah. And I guess that's like a mobile phone pocket, which I, that's it, one of the only things that I think, well, there's none on that side as well, and why do you put it there? So I end up just having my earplugs in there. It's not waterproof, is it? You can see that for a start. Yeah. And now I've got my headlight jacket, or headlight vest. I won't be able to put it in there. I don't no. want something sharp in there. But these are two pockets. They're waterproof. They've got the waterproof lining, which is good. Um, two pockets there. Are these pockets here at the side or is it a chest vent of some sort? They are. I'm not putting my hand in. Chest vents. Razor blades in there chest and all vents. sorts. But, <laughs> yeah, because I carry weapons on the bike. I really don't. I don't. But yeah, you've got one on each side, which is good. And I like them because they're free moving. I found the rucker ones sometimes um, uh, hard to pull up when you're riding. Do they go all the way through? They were. <laughs> I, just, I just wondered whether they actually went right the way through. No, they go right up to the middle zip. That would have been a visual experience, wouldn't it? Right up to the middle zip. <laughs> but so yeah, so you've got that, that air, air cooling there as well. You've got more cooling on the side here by these long, long zips. Wow. Now that does go right through to the back. And on the back of your uh, jacket, you've got. More zips down here. If I unzip all these zips, you'll dry it off because you'll not remember which ones have been opened. That'd be <laughs> yeah. funny. That'll be safe and wet. And then I see the reflective tape on it is that grey colour, so it yeah. doesn't even look like it's proper reflective tape. No. So turn back round again to the camera. But it does 
it does really show, especially if you're taking a picture and especially at night, it really does illuminate exceptionally well and the clim, I think, I don't think that's reflective, but these bits here are reflective. And then you've got some more vents up here as well, haven't you? Okay, and on the sleeves, you've got is yep. that a pocket or a vent? That is a vent, and the airflow will go right up to this vent, because I've got another one, so you've got venting everywhere. I mean, it's just... You've just an amazing jacket. <laughs> and it's got these, um, I don't know what you call them, adjustable straps? Yeah, we'll so call you them adjustable straps for the benefit of this video. Yeah, yeah. So you can adjust them and make them tighter or looser to your fit. Um, and then this one isn't a pocket. It's got a handy little jewel on here. A jewel. A jewel. A jewel. Um, what, as in jewel money worth something jewel? Well, or is that like a... No, that's what I'd like to think, but it's not. It's just a little bit metal in the shape. Okay. Um, but in there, it's making use of this. And if you buy one of these jackets, you can just go onto their website, register with them, and they will send you an emergency ID card. So it's another take on the stuff that we wear on our helmets, the stuff that like you tag and stuff like that that we have, but it will give you um, your name and address, telephone number, next of kin, blood group, that sort of stuff. And they'll send you a card with it and it just pops in there. Which is quite important, you know, we've, we've done videos about medical IDs and uh, you know, what to have on your phone and everything. And to be honest, I don't think the medical staff will actually pay much attention to it unless your helmet's got your name on, you've got yeah. your phone on, you've got the, the, the more stuff you've got to say that it's you, the better it would be. If it's just oh, one piece, they'll probably ignore it. 100%. Now, one thing that I do like about this, unfortunately for the Rucker, that is a plus for me on this, is that the Rucker zips um, were very odd. They kind of, they're kind of a different, different sort of zip, but when they're attached, they kind of move. Oh, yeah. And a few of mine broke. Really yeah. quite, I mean, we do a lot of miles there, on and off all day long, but they broke. Whereas these are the KKK normal zips, or YKK, those zips. Um, <laughs> they're a K something. Yeah, I think it's YKK or something like that. But normal zips, and they're, they're really solid, really solid things. Is that the waterproof? It is, isn't it? Um, yeah, yeah, it's it waterproof as well. Yeah. So you've got leather bits as well. Oh, I've got more pockets. Oh, God. I've got to about pockets. Yeah, two side pockets here. I'm not having pocket envy because my <laughs> Rooker's only got two waterproof ones on the front. But, um... And two massive pockets. I mean, they are massive. And they have the waterproof lining. I'm not sure. I haven't tested them to see whether they are actually waterproof yet. I've got to be honest, my Rooker jacket only has two, two pockets in that position there. Yeah. And I can get a phone in and that's about it. So I'm, I'm yeah. a bit disappointed with that. However, the jacket's brilliant, mm. but it's got pockets everywhere. Pockets yeah. up the yin yang, as they say in the pockets Navy. Pockets up the yin yang. Yeah, and the, the fastening here um, is just a Velcro. Really easy. And I find that really good underneath my gloves. No, no difference there. Although on the rucker, it had a zip on here, didn't it? That you could like yeah. peel it back and put your gloves on. That would have been nice on here. Um, that's a little bit of a downside for me on there, just but you get used to these things, don't you? Yeah. Yeah? Comparatively, how, how did it compare with um, the Rooker in price? I don't know, I'm, you don't have um, to tell me how much you paid for it. But. Well, I've, I've, the price I paid is the deal. price I paid. It wasn't the price on the ticket, but on the price on the ticket is about 900 and something. They're, right. they're comparable sort of brand, they're comparable prices. Okay. Um, it's quite low though. Yeah. It mm -hmm. is quite low, but... I'm quite strange. I know that you know that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm quite strange is that I do not like anything. I don't wear neck tubes or what do they call them? Those cowls. A cowl. You know, like the neck tubes that go in and come up here and people have them around here. A cowl. Okay. I'll a cowl. stick with the word cowl. Okay. I don't wear them. <laughs> don't wear them at all. Never have. Um, and I don't like my helmet getting caught on anything and I find that this is just right. I never get a cold neck, ever, um, and it doesn't get caught on anything. I really like it being low. It could have done, however, with a better way of changing how, how gonna, snug it is around the neck, say that just only with two poppers. If you don't mind me saying, that bit there is, it looks a bit, it's like it's almost like it's not been finished properly. Yeah. It, it's kind of got that feel, and if they had... Like it should be a little bit higher, perhaps, or a bit stiffer, maybe. Well, a bit stiffer, but it is nice to have it quite soft, 
but if they had a different mechanism, even like Velcro, where you could pick where you were going to put it rather than two poppers, that might have been better. Oh, yeah, I can look at that. Okay. Got Velcro. To us talking about fitting of things, uh, we'll, be t we'll be discussing dresses and things next <laughs> <Yeah>. year. <laughs> and it's got Velcro bits all the way down. Right. Um, and then as you open that bit out, it's clearly two sides. The world would be lost without Velcro. Oh, they would be, they would be, yeah. Waterproof pocket in there. <laughs> now they say it's a mobile phone pocket. Now I've got an iPhone, what have I got? An iPhone 10, and it's a strong. Other, other phones are available, <laughs> yeah. alright? He's not doing that for Apple. Now it's iPhone a... 10? Yeah. God. Yeah. Um, now it will go in that pocket, but it feels very alien because it's right on top of your sternum or right to the side of your sternum. And where that phone is, this, the pocket is not big enough for the phone to find a comfortable position or you move it. So oh, you, right. it, there's constantly something there, so I never keep the phone there. Must be a massive chest getting in the way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then you've got a popper down the bottom. Right. And obviously the popper's at the top. Now, interestingly enough, for you men out there, I don't know what it's like in other European countries, but in the UK, most of the zip handle is on the left hand side for a man, isn't it? And you put the bit, you put the, it. Yeah. yeah. It's not something you yeah, think about right. very much. But all of the rucker kit, all of the um, clim kit is on the right hand side. And yes, it is a man's jacket. You can see his face. Well, because that's how it used to be, isn't it? Is it? All the other way around for a lady, yeah. Yeah. That's what so I, I don't know whether it's American. Well, I don't know actually. We'll, there have, you a, go. we'll have a look. Um, yeah, so it's on the right hand side. Gets, that takes a bit of getting used to, even though I didn't realise that all mine were on the left hand side and this was different, but it doesn't matter. But you have got the ability to open that as well. Wow! You want to flash at people or you want to sit down a bit more comfy, so yeah. <laughs> I didn't know I did that. That's amazing. That's pretty cool actually. That's right. I do like that. So, inside, there are yet more pockets. Now this is D30, I think it's the second generation of D30 armour, and the D30 armour is really good. It's that stuff that takes the impact, so it's really floppy, really light, it's not as heavy as the Rucker jacket, but it, it takes the impact. And it's not, there's not many jackets that actually include a, a chest plate, is there? No, you're looking at me there, I'm counting the pockets in my head there, I think I've got ten pockets so far. <laughs> Yeah. I wasn't listening to well, you. Well, when you've Sorry. got so many pockets, what does it matter, you know? I might have a pocket <laughs> in everything. Yeah, so you've got a little pocket in there for something. No, I don't ever put Sandwiches, yeah. chocolate bars, yeah. chocolate old bars, copies then. of Newsweek. And ex you may not have counted these. I didn't count those. Extra little I'm up pockets to 11 there, now. Which is really good. Same 12. on the other side. Extra pockets in there. And 13. then a little iPod. I would say an iPod or... Um, a music MP3 or even a phone thing pocket there. Is that for your speakers to come through? Yeah. They're amazing. Which is really good. They've got a, a little, I don't know whether you can see that, a little bit there that you can put your headphones and wires through that would then feed up rather than you feeding them up through another hole or something. And then you get a cummerbund just to hold your stomach here. <laughs> In case you go out to a formal meal, now I've got a cucumber band. <laughs> now this cucumber band's really good because it holds the jacket in place. All Velcro again, holds it in place, which is really nice actually. And I just noticed there that that's elasticated. Yeah. Is it elasticated? Yep. Yeah. Why? Wow. Now that goes all the way around. Now, what I would have liked the Velcro to have been is the other way around. So I'm going to take it out and change it around and see if it works. And the reason I say that is. You've got the soft here, and you've got the hooks here. Yeah. So the stuff we wear, the Heli Hansen and the other wicking tops, Catches. are very susceptible to getting caught. And very quickly, if you're walking around like that, that is ripping the fibres off the undergarments or under layers that I'm wearing. So that should, I think, be facing out, so it's not actually grabbing on anything. Right. Apart from that, it's... So you can just pull that out and rotate it, can you? I think so, I haven't done it yet, but when I pull that way, that goes smaller, so I'm guessing that you can take it out, yet to find out. <laughs> yeah, we can do <laughs> film on that, like. Yeah. 
That looks pretty cool. D30 armor in there as well. Really squashy bolt goes from there up across my elbow um, into the right place, shoulder and and back protection so, as well. Turn around. So that back back piece is is a it's a different. You can see it's like a a, um, a back shape goes into a waist and then out to your hip sort of thing. It's smaller than the uh, BMW Rally series. Yeah. Jackets, because that is massive, isn't it? Oh God, yeah. But the uh, I don't say that because I like it. But the the D three zero in the rucker jacket is only, you know, it's about eight inches wide. Yeah. Like that. It just goes the whole length of your back, so that's more contour. Cool. Yeah. We can even see it now without yeah. me describing it like that. The jacket's open. Yeah. So if I take the that is the back plate. So you can see that where, it's, where it fits, it fits just in the right place, doesn't it? And because the jacket is fitted, it's a better fit than other jackets that I've worn. It doesn't just hang down. That's actually closer to your body, so it's not got that distance to go before it gets to your body, before it then takes the impact. And it is just, I mean, it's so light. It's mashable. It's unbelievable, unbelievable it is. And I've noticed at the bottom of the jacket here, and you see here you've got pull cords to um, yeah. adjust the, On the fit. Side. The fit. Well, that helps. Yeah. So and you can adjust the fit. <laughs> yeah. Pull it closer into your waist, I suppose. And that goes right round the back of the jacket as well. Which I mean, you can feel the cord in there, and it goes all the way to the front as well. So not only is it adjusting just where the back goes around the bottom here. It's actually pulling the front in as well, so it's keep it going to keep that shape. You can see the way the jacket's made that there's lots of scope for ventilation. It has the, the thin mesh on the inside. Yeah. I like the jacket. What I don't like about it is it, because it is that short. If I was going to buy one, I'd want one that's a little bit lower. Yeah. You know the the bad ones. Yeah. Yeah. Bad. I mean, but for for the price, some people will say you know it's a huge amount of money, but to be honest. It's a tool of the trade, isn't it? We yeah. need to have decent stuff. Not only do I want decent stuff when I'm riding, but I want decent stuff if I happen to have an accident and come off. And it also zips up to the set of trousers? Yes, it does. Okay. Yeah. The only issue I have with these, if you just like to hold it up a little bit higher, is that's not a very long zip. No. All right, now on the Rooker ones, it actually comes right from the front of the jacket, which I think is it's because like, you're twisting into some sort of some kind of contortionist to try and zip that up to your trousers. Yeah. So most people don't bother, I don't think. No, I don't. So if you're going to have it, make it easy for people yeah. to use it. I don't. I don't bother. And it's also got on the what, top. You don't bother wearing trousers. You don't bother zipping it up. Don't bother zipping it up around your trousers. Right. Um, it's also got a bit around your neck as well, so you can bring the neck in. Oh, okay. But I never use that. I just and it doesn't catch on anything either. But overall, I think it's a, just a really good jacket. It is expensive, but I'd rather have something that is quality gear. I mean, I've got that Toreg jacket. You'll see the see the thing up there. Um, yeah, there. <laughs> um, that's a really good jacket for a reasonable price. But the only thing that I did find about the Toreg jacket is the colour of it got very dirty very quick. Whereas this is, I went for the black rather than the creamy Green, coloured one. Work. Yeah, because it's not going to get visually dirty that quick. Now downsides, there's a bit there, there are downsides to everything there unfortunately. Are. I'll put it on. Only because I like wearing it. Okay. He came in his car today by the way. <laughs> wearing, wearing his jacket. <laughs> Traitor. Um, there there are not many downsides that I found. One of the biggest downsides that I found with this jacket is it's very cold, very cold when you're on your bike. And I'm talking about when you're in the UK without our cold weather. Oh, so there's no zip in liner? No. I thought you were it, going to get onto that, okay. Yeah. It's, it's windproof. So it is for a, for a warm country? It's, it's more for a warm country, but because my, it's, it's really weird. It's a downside that it's really cold and it took me by surprise because the rucker is really amazing stuff for keeping you warm, isn't it? and regulating your heat, but it's not so good in really hot countries. This will be really good in hot countries, but not so good in cold countries. But the plus side 
is that I can wear a t-shirt and I had a fleece on underneath which sorted that, that out. Whereas in the rucker and other, other um, jackets and trousers, because they've got so many zipped in parts, I'd rather wear those bits and it feels too, it feels too restrictive for me. Mm -hmm. I can't feel that it's me, it's just like this massive huge jacket. Whereas with a, a small fleece, and you can buy good quality ones for quite a good cheap, cheap price in um, Aldi. some Aldi's and Lidl's <laughs> and other supermarkets that do amazing shop. stuff. Yeah. <laughs> um, that it's um, quite a versatile jacket, so I, I just put an extra fleece in my packing kit now when I go away and stuff like that, or wear it when I'm in the UK. But that was the downside, it kind of hit me a little bit that something that was 900 odd pounds was so cold. It's all a compromise, isn't it? You know, we, uh, we were just, answered, we just on another video we've just done, we were talking about how many miles we do a year. I'm doing uh, between 25 and 30,000 miles a year on a bike, and so my clothing reflects that. And if you're only doing 4,000 miles a year on a bike, your clothing might reflect the fact that you're only doing 4,000 miles. Yeah. I like to be warm, and I know you like to be warm, so it's always a compromise. Yeah, it is. And if it's more expensive to keep you warm, then unfortunately it is. You know, how many times have we spent year, you know, ages and ages and ages going, yeah, I can get by that, put another yeah. jumper on, do this, do that. But in actual fact, you can buy a specific piece of clothing expensive as it is yeah. but I do know that a lot of companies are doing 0% finance on oh, yeah, yeah. That's things like good. this um, I suppose I can mention the Motor Legends based in yeah. Guildford they do a lot of 0% finance on expensive stuff yeah. like this and, and that's you know if, if you do a lot of miles it's worth it's worth yeah. investing in it and but people, I like the jacket mate. and people like sports bike shop have always got discounts and yep. things running through the year that will help as well with the price we're not being sponsored by any of these no, by the way it's just people we dealt with yeah. but really really lovely jacket it's the best jacket I've ever had Rucker amazing stuff I'd never knock Rucker because I really enjoyed Rucker other than the fact that the trousers are very tight around your crotch area it feels like you're being poked up there all the time which is quite a strange feeling but um, this jacket is the best jacket I've had because I'm now going to use it for the reasons that I bought it cool so thumbs up from Rydercam TV for the Kodiak clip or the Klim Kodiak jacket love it to bits there you go yeah so if you love, like the video, give it a massive thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It'll be somewhere on the screen. And we'll see you in the next video. See ya.